What's up, world? Giuseppe. I'm alone. Got to work in about an hour. And I'm here to just uh, discuss some uh, issues, discuss some, discuss, discuss the world. I need a joint to do that. I join in the middle. First, why? Why are all these people concerned about shit that doesn't even matter? In the in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't even matter. And I just don't understand that, you know. Why sweat why sweat over a relationship that was hot in high school? You have so much life ahead of you. Did you really think that you were gonna marry that person? Do you really think that? I just can't get over that. I see so many people so upset that they broke up with their previous boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't get it. I mean, maybe I'm different. Maybe I'm the weird one. Okay, I accept that. But I'd rather be weird and not sweating over that than normal and sweating over that. It just doesn't make sense to me. Let me fetch an ashtray. Next. Fake niggas, man. I can't stand it. Why you gotta be fake? Keep it real. That's all I do. I might be a dick. A lot of people might not like me. I might be cocky, arrogant. Whatever people want to say. And that's fine. But one thing you'll never experience me be is fake. I'm going to be real. All the time. I mean, and that's, you know, a lot of people say... The ones who say they're real all the time are the ones who are actually fake. Well, that's not the case here. I'm simply telling you like it is. I'm real. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be true. Uh, I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm not going to really lie to you. If it's a lie that I feel is going to do with both some good, then I'll tell a lie. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say here and say I'm perfect and don't lie. That's ridiculous. But I don't lie to save my own ass. You know. I lie for a meaningful reason. That may sound ridiculous. It's true. What other problems do I want to discuss with this world, this video that I'm not sure anyone will see? Okay. I've told many people that um that I've I I want to die. I don't want I'm gonna rephrase this. I wouldn't care if I died at the age of thirty five. If I knew I was gonna die at thirty five, like if someone told me right now today came in my house and said, Seth, it's confirmed, it's 100% for sure you're going to die at 35. I wouldn't be sweating that. I wouldn't worry about that. I'd be alright with it. People mistake that for wanting to die at 30. That's not, that's not what I'm saying, dog. I'm not going to kill myself, ever. I'll never kill myself. Simply because... It's, 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 uh, it's a courtesy thing. If I killed myself, 
that's completely embarrassing to my family, to my little brothers and sisters, you know. My mom's going to feel guilty. They're all going to feel guilty. You know, that's not, it wasn't even their fault. You know, I'm not for that shit. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'll never kill myself, ever. But if I were to die, I'd be all right with it. It'd just be whatever. Because once you get to 30 and 35, what's your life? What are you doing? You're, you're doing the same shit every day, going to work, not, you know. Working eight hours a day, coming back to the same house, seeing the same people. Yeah, they're your loved ones, and I understand that, you know. But if you die and you don't have any kids or a wife, then you're not leaving anything behind for anyone to feel bad about. And you're also not having to go through so many years of repetitiveness, same shit over and over. It's like you, you live the best part of your life, and then it got to stop. Like, that's not a bad thing to me. Why? Why? If, if, if these young years are the best years of your life. And you'll hear people, old people say that all the time. Live it up at, when you're young because those are the best years of your life. Well, that shows me right there that they miss their young years. So so why would you want to live for from uh, 30 years old to 80 missing the first part of your life? 50 years of missing and, you know, 20 years of having the fun that you had. I wouldn't, I would, I'm, I'm all right. I would hold on that. I don't see how anyone could disagree. But if you do, that's cool. I mean, I'm not all about dissing other people's shit. I live my life like the end is approaching. So all the sweet, I roll up and roach it. Man, and it, it's also some, just the way the world works right now is some bullshit to me, <laughs> really. People going stupid crazy, they're not you being logical, just like, be logical, use your head. What's, what makes the most sense? That's how I think. What's logical? People get into all these feelings and emotions and they're not thinking about what the fucking basis of it is. Like, what makes the most sense? Like, like here's a perfect example. I'm completely against homosexuality. I, I don't understand it. I don't like it. I wish there weren't homosexuals in this world. But, there are. And there's nothing I can do about that. And there's nothing I want to do about that. It's okay. They're just here. I understand that. And to say that they can't get married is dumb as fuck. I have been, you know, tested, apparently, clinically proven to be uh, homophobic, which is a fear, almost. So much hate that you're almost scared of gay people. And that's not true, you know. But... That's what the psychiatrist told me, you know, whatever. Regardless, I'm supposed to be this person who really doesn't like gay people, and I really don't. I really do not like gay people, but I'm all for gay marriage because they're not going to bother me if they get married. They're gay. I don't, you know, I don't like that they're gay, but I don't care that they're going to get married. It doesn't affect me at all. So the logical thing for me is to, yeah, all for gay marriage. Go ahead and get married, gay people. I don't, that's great, you know, if you want to be with that person so bad, then you should be able to be with them, I agree, even though I really don't like that you're a homosexual, I'm all for your homosexual marriage, all for it, why, because I'm logical, pretty simple, pretty simple, I mean, a lot of shit that I don't get in this world. Either I don't know why it exists or why it happens, but some of the shit that happens in this world is just so fucking weird and so fucked up to me. Explain this to me. How did we get 
how did we get to this point? A construct um, a construction worker, okay, is a very hard working as far as the actual amount of work that you do. Work. Okay, physical work. Like the more you do of that, the less you get paid. Because big dogs, millionaires, they don't do shit. They sit around or, like, they play ball. I mean, I guess an athlete is an exception because that is work. But they like to do that work. You know, construction workers don't like to build houses. They do it because they need a job. And they do it because they know how to do it. So, I mean... How does that, why is that? Why, why would the person who does less work get paid more money? And the one who does more work get paid less money? Does that make sense? No. It even breaks down to simpler forms. I work at Cluckers. I'm a cook. I make seven seventy five. dollars I've received a 150 cent raise and make seventy seven five. dollars Alright? And I... Whenever I work, do all the you know all the cooking, all the cleaning at the end of the night, any cleaning, any dishes, any sweeping, mopping, you know, all that kind of work. A manager, however, doesn't do any of that. Rarely comes back, cooks sometimes, usually for himself, because he's fat as fuck. And he gets paid a lot more money than me, but he does a lot less work. And he has no mental aspect of it either. He has no, he has no. Um, no man manager background. He's never been a manager before. He's never worked as a manager before. It's just he's older. So they just threw him in as a manager. Like, that is fucked up. What is, why? What? What? Don't understand it, man. I don't get it. Bitches, females, why can't? There's no possible way that you don't like having sex. There's no way. It feels good. It's human nature to want stuff that feels good. It feels good to have lots of money. It feels good, and everyone knows it. That's why everyone wants money. So, you know you, you, you do want to have sex, but so why even play the game where like you won't? do it unless you're with that person that's uh that's what you know like the, the world would be such a better place to just females and males could both agree to and of course you know at, like out of just nothing just because because it feels good and i guess based off certain morals and beliefs maybe that's not okay but i mean it only makes sense to do what feels good Especially if you're protected, because then you're not, then you're not chancing anything. So there's no, there's not even a risk. But, so, like having the fucking label, relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend. Why? Why do you want that so bad? Is it's, it's like desperate. It's like specifically for attention, and that's just natural female race, I think. The only reason you would want the, the label of a relationship is so other people would know it. You know, you can claim that it's a personal thing for you, like you need to you need to be in a relationship to feel it. That's bullshit. That's complete bullshit. You just want the attention from everyone else. You want everyone else to know that you're dating this guy and having sex with him. But not just having sex with him. No, no, no. You can't do that because that makes you a slut. So you gotta date him first. Then you can have sex with him, because it's okay. So, I'm done. I'm done here. Peace out. Peace, love, happiness. Smoke some weed. I'm out.